ON TV's Game of the Week, bringing you Utica Ford versus Lake Orion High School varsity soccer tonight. First home game of the season for the hometown Dragons. And they sit in, sitting at the season currently at 2-2. Two and two. Uh, win against Marquette and Petoskey at the Petoskey Tournament and losses against Adams and Oxford. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Thank you for tuning into this telecast here on Orient Neighborhood Television's Game of the Week. We hope to bring you many games this season. Uh, I can't believe the school year is about underway here. October, August 23rd, the date of this game, the home opener here at Dragon Stadium. We'll have the kickoff right after this timeout. You're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. Stay tuned. As a parent, you know you can't prevent every accident. Add a mouth guard to your child's sports or recreational equipment list to help prevent the impact of a painful and costly facial injury. If your child does sustain a facial injury, seek an evaluation from an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. OMSs are experts in handling injuries to the face, mouth, and jaws. Learn more at myoms.org. Welcome back to Game of the Week. Here on Orion Neighborhood Television, first telecast of the 2023 school year. Excited to bring you uh, Dragon Sports as usual here on Orion Neighborhood Television. And uh, the home opener here at Dragon Stadium, the varsity soccer uh, team is taking on Utica Ford. And we're super excited to be uh, getting the school year underway. Perfect weather conditions for this matchup today as the Dragons and the Falcons line up to kick off here. Um, I'd say about two games a week, ON TV will be trying to cover uh, to bring to the public here in Lake Orion and beyond our borders. Head on over to orionontv.org for more information about our game, game of the week uh, telecast and our video on demand services where we archive our games uh, all season long. I want to thank our interns, Bethany and Drake, for the images you are seeing tonight. Again, I'm Ian, Ian Lock, your announcer, and we're underway here. First half underway here. Summer went by way too quickly to be all of a sudden be back in the stands here, bringing you varsity soccer action. Again, as mentioned in the open, Lake Orion comes into this contest sitting at 2-2. Two and two. Uh, their two wins coming at the Petoskey Tournament and the two losses also in that tournament. Uh, they lost to Adams 2-0 to zero and Oxford 2-1. to one. So we know we'll see more of uh, the Wildcats and Dragons in action as the regular season rolls along. Always a good matchup between those two clubs. Rival, you know, rivalry games are awesome and always uh, result in uh, really exciting matches. Um, we've seen those over the years for sure. Dragons in control here, trying to get something moving in the early stages of this one against the Falcons of Utica Ford. It's nice little scoring opportunity there by number 11. Right off the bat, that is Ezekiel Vargas, the senior, uh, making the Utica Ford netminder, um, keeping them honest, as they say. Dragons chase that one down easily and set up the offensive rush. Head coach for the Dragons is Chris Corteg. And for the Falcons of Utica Ford is Chris Alston. And we have a whistle and a takedown. Free kick coming here for Lake Orion. Number 10, Calvin Mays will be taking that one. Already a quality scoring chance for Lake Orion early in this one. Keep tallies of those and the corner kicks. Big crowd on hand for this one. Uh, soccer families travel very, very well. And in the box, ooh, nicely done on the free kicks. Still wide, challenged. 
By number 17, Billy Kapler. Unable to turn on that when the Falcons are on the move. Out of play by Lake Orion. Barry with the trigger from the side, number 24. Gives it up to his teammate as he gets in position there. Barry there challenging on that left far side of the field. Dragons uh, goalkeeper Zale, Brendan Zale, the sophomore, comes out to challenge that. A challenge on net. Right dead center. Nice shot by Utica Ford. Scoring chance number one by the Falcons. Brendan Zale had to be on his toes for that early shot by the Falcons. And a challenge there as Barry goes to the turf. Free kick coming here for the Falcons as they set it up. Dangerous spot for a free kick indeed for the Dragon defense. 36-31 here in the early stages of this first half. Falcons line up for this free kick. Scanning the scenes, the guys. Nice high, Archer into the box and had, tried to head it out. Oh, and he just missed wide left. Ford had an opportunity. That was uh, Gambone. Solomon Gambone had an opportunity point blank and he couldn't convert. Two quality scoring chances for Falcon, for the Falcons here in the early stage of this first half. Really putting the pressure on the Dragon defense. Falcons again come into this one sitting at one and one. A loss to Eisenhower, one nothing, and Warren Cousineau. Uh, they got the W, one nothing. So not a high scoring team is uh, this Falcon squad, but we saw early on that they will put pressure on that defense. And played off, is that a corner kick? Looks like it is a corner kick coming here for Utica Ford. Dragons were in position, didn't chase that one down, and goes across the end line. Corner kick coming. It's Denage, number 12 with the honors, number six here from the corner. High chip on, and the header, and a bit wide on the right, but he was in position. He took a forward, a, uh, impressed so far in this early stages of this contest. A lot of pressure, especially on the road. Matt Tafolo, the junior, with the free kick here for Lake Orion. Lake Orion in the all green uniforms, Utica Ford in the all white. Nice. No harm, no foul on that uh, exchange. Dragons are loaded with juniors. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Oh. Cutting inside, oh, nice closeout by the Falcon Netminder to close the angle. Dangerous. Dragons, another scoring chance, opportunity. A lot of action here early in the early stages of this one. Free kick coming after the foul. Ezekiel Vargas, number 11 with the honors. Another opportunity. Uh, uh, advantageous free kick here, see what he can do. A nice spot here, these guys can drop it in the box. Dragon's good on the set pieces. Chip on going far post, nobody home, rolls out of play. Lack of communication there by the Dragons, you can tell it's the early season, early on in the season here. I think Tur uh, Turkinovic, uh, the junior sporting number one, is the goalkeeper here for the Falcons. No positions are listed on the rosters, but I want to thank uh, the athletic department over at Utica Ford for uh, firing off the rosters to us so we can have our play-by-play -play action uh, this evening. Dragons battling down there out of play and freak your throw-in coming for Lake Orion to follow number 15 with the honors. Good speed by Utica Ford. Good challenge. Nicely done by number 10, 
Gabala. Falcons, Gabala out there running around. He's comes up a little gimpy there. You see number 10, he's limping. Have to keep an eye on his uh, condition as we roll along in this first half. Challenge in the corner by number seven, Corcus. And the Dragons, two Dragons go to the turf. Nice right foot centering pass gets through and out of play. And throw in coming for Lake Orion. Dragons need to be on their toes. This Ford team can really turn it in a, in a hurry. Dragons decide just to clear that one out. A smart move. They switch the field. Try to find some open space. Launch it up to that right side. 17. Who's that? Uh, Kapler loses his footing and Ford's on the move. A lot of action end to end here in the early going of this first half. No score. Glad you could tune in to this telecast with uh, Owen TV. Game of the week here. The first varsity soccer match of the season on home turf here at Lake Orion High School. Again, we want to thank our uh, interns, uh, Bethany and Drake, for bringing you the images today. Running camera for us on this telecast. Ford. Some tic-tac-toe uh, passing, but good defensive coverage by Lake Orion. Third out by Negri, number eight, and rolls out of play. Throw in coming for Ford, and they move quickly. I like the pace of play of both the Falcons and the Dragons. They are really working hard out there and trying to find the open space. Dragons switch field and try to get it up that right side. We've, we've seen that attack just a moment ago. Turned away by the Falcons. Will Farmer, number four, the sophomore, will be throwing in from the sideline. One, two, three sophomores on this Dragon squad. No sophomores on the Ford squad. Throw in coming. Nice long high archer throw in just outside the box, headed out by number 22, Milne. Throw in coming again for Lake Orion. Dragon offense is getting set in the box just outside. One thing the Dragons do very well is their set pieces. Coach Cortag is a stickler for those. And you'll see different looks and different uh, sets on free kicks and corners. Nice speed running that one down is Lake Orion's number 15 uh, to follow, but uh, Ford wins that battle as 18 triggers from the side. That's uh, Fofana. Drew Graves, number 11, battling in the corner there with the Lake Orion Dragons. Fofana again, number 18, with the throw in. Dangerous spot. Skip pass just outside the box trying to get it in, and it's kicked out of play. Inside 30 minutes, inside 29 minutes left in this first half. Time is flying by already. Oh, nice steal by the Dragons. Number 13, I think that's 13, I got to see. Is that Heightenen? Had the captain's band on his arm, the, the neon green. I like that the MHSA is doing that now, putting the armbands on the players for the captains. Ooh, near handball, no call. Play continues. 14 for the Dragons. Bill Alina Loza trying to keep it on side, but dispossessed by the Falcons. Oh, nice challenge there by Lake Orion. Nice, easy passes near side. Here we go. Ooh, doesn't go in, but we're looking at a trip in the box. Yes, easy call by by the um, officials. That was easy, he was on side and they're gonna call it inside the box. Penalty kick coming for Lake Orion. Here we go, here's the setup. Looks like a e clean challenge. Ford fans are looking for a penalty. Nope, inside the box, 17 goes down in a heap. That's Billy Kapler. 
the junior goes down. And you can see that sets up the penalty kick. Penalty kick here at 28-01 for Lake Orion. And it will be number 11 easily uh, sets that one in. Score, Lake Orion up 1-0, 27-59. And 11 is Ezekiel Vargas. Vargas, Lake Orion up early in this one. One thing we see is Dragons can score. Uh, they're averaging about, I don't know, what is that? Three goals a game? If I'm looking at the two and a half goals a game, so they can put it in the net. Again, sometimes tournament play is a not a good indicator of uh, offensive prowess because once you get in the regular season, you never know, might mixing up the lineups, changing around, bring some JV up to the varsity squad, trying people out super early in the season. But uh, so far, the Dragons are putting the ball in the net. High Archer into the box and challenge the keeper. Nicely done by Ford. We'll call it a quality scoring chance. Third of the game. Nice charge by number 11, Drew Graves. Trying to get possession, that ball is a hot potato out there. Play continues, far side. Ford has it, trying to look at that inside pass. He does dish it off, but good defensive uh, pressure by the Lake Orion Dragons. Shut down that attack. Nice lead pass up. Trying to run it down is the green and white, but a little too far. Good hustle by Matias Balina Loza, the junior. Running that one down. Ford in possession, trying to do something with it. Room to roam. A lot of space for uh, Paluck. Oh, inside, trying to go right foot. Nowhere to go, good close out by the Dragon defense. Long chip on, we saw it earlier having near uh, scoring chances there. Nicely done by Ford. I like this Ford team. You better be ready to play or they're gonna take it to you. 25-54 left here in the first. Dragons up one nothing on the goal by Vargas after the penalty kick. Uh, penalty in the box. He was dropped in the box, so he gets the uh, gets the tally for Lake Orion. Number eight, Austin Nagri, trying to run that one down or getting it to number 14. That's uh, Melina Loza, and that's out of play. Looks like a corner kick coming. I think it's a throw in actually. Will Farmer again with the honors. Throw in short, challenge, and kicked out of play. Another throw in coming. Dragons on set pieces. Uh, we've seen it over the years, mentioned it before. And uh, they can be dangerous, too, on the throw-ins if you're not uh, paying attention. Nice job there by the Falcon defense. They turn on it, looking to move. Dance around there and dispossessed. Nice job by number nine for Lake Orion. That's Will uh, Jekyll. And now they got a collision there. And they're going to call it on Lake Orion, I believe. Nope, they're going to call it on the Falcons. You can hear some of them in the crowd saying, come on, man. You always hear it. Uh, <laughs> Fouls against your team. Uh, the fan base doesn't usually like them. Nice long drop in the box. Danger, but gathered in by... The Falcons uh, goalkeeper, nicely done there. 
Number 17 for the Dragons, Billy Kapler was in position and was screening the netminder, but no harm, no foul. Falcons on the move, nicely done. Number 20 gets it, he's uh, Gambone. A little footwork, a little dancey dancey, and Nagri's there, knocks it out of play. Throw in coming for Lake Orion. Defoe will have the honors. Sent down range. Chased down by Kraus. Kraus a little tap over to 19. That is uh, Skolkik. A lot of pursuit on um, see Dragon green jerseys around all the players and it looks like a yeah he was in the clear that was number nine uh, Will Jekyll I, I think that's how you say his last name for Lake Orion and they're going to issue a yellow card too I think that's 22 22 is uh, Jace Milne he's going to have to take a seat but yeah, uh, the Dragons were in the clear there and he got him from behind just to slow him down. It's not a bad foul, but hey, you get a yellow card. So you gotta watch yourself. To follow with the honors, you see the flag in the, in the distance there blowing. Uh, tailwind for the tap in, bounce. Still alive, Bolina Loza challenging out there out of play, should be a corner kick for Lake Orion. And got to watch out these corner kicks for Lake Orion. I'm sure uh, Coach Alston is aware of Corteg and his uh, the games he plays with his corners. Sometimes he goes short, sometimes he goes long, but you never know what you're going to get. It always changes. Short corner to follow the left foot heel. That one in, ball bouncing around in the box and a high kick by Belina Loza. So. No home, no foul there. Whistle blows, free kick. Falcons on the move and taken down by number 14. A little frustrated, maybe. See that sometimes. Get called for one, get tagged for one. <laughs> get a little frustrated. Falcons on the free kick, sent it down range. Push from behind, oh, there's the call easily made, hands out by number 25, who's that, Joey Gaten? Going what? Like, uh, yes, pretty easy, easy call. Knocked him down. Mason Gabala, number 10, on the free kick here for the Falcons. Like his game, he was hobbled a little bit early on First five minutes of this game, he had a limp going, so we keep an eye on him. Looks uh, no worse for wear. Oh, nice. Trying to get a clean shot, can't do it. Ball is still bouncing around out there. You can see the turf, the little black uh, or the rubber, the rubber dust or whatever they have on the turf out here. It's kicked up and the guys are kicking all over the place. And saw a couple guys uh, lose their footing out here. For Linden and Lasso check in for Lake Orion. As we're approaching 20 minutes left in this first half, Dragons up one, nothing. On the goal by Vargas on a penalty kick, the PK at 27-59. Falcons have put nice pressure on the Dragon defense. It's just getting inside the box and really getting a, sh a solid shot on frame is something that they're just, just cannot do. Early stages, about two minutes into this game, they had a, a nice shot on goal, and but they hit it right into the belly of number one, Brendan Zale. Gaten sends that one down range. Give and go, no can do, but number 10's got it. He's uh, He's been busy out there. 
Jazarek, number 27 for Lake Oregon, gathers that one in. Dragon sent it down range, trying to strike quickly from distance, and nicely done by 17. Kapler to gather that one in, and no call. Good defense by the Falcons. Nice individual effort on ball with by the green and white to keep that one alive. Farmer on the far side. He's trying to get uh, reset here. Looking for support. Finds it. Zarek coming near side, but did a hot mustard on that pass. They gathered in. Negri sends it back to follow with it. Number 15 back to the netminder. In pursuit is number 11, that is Drew Graves, the senior for the Falcons. Dragons sent down range. Looking to go over the top, trying to find an opening and find some speed, and they have it. Nice challenge, nicely done by number 17 to get in position there, Billy Kapler. So that is what they're trying to do. You see the strike from distance, get a, uh, a quick header on, get it upfield, and uh, let Kapler do uh, turn the Jets on and try to run it down as Farmer will have the throw in from the side here. And we've seen him, he's got a pretty good arm over there. Or we should say pretty good couple of arms. Sends it in, near side post, it gets through, bouncing around, still alive. Oh, left foot outside. Outside left foot by Belina Loza. Score. Dragons at 17-34. 36, actually. As you can see, it's bouncing around. He chest, chest pass to himself. Gets two touches in the box before a defender gets on him, and he flicks it with his left foot outside. And finds the back of the net. Big goal for Lake Orion here in the first half. Again, Dragons challenge. We always see it after a goal. The team scoring has a lot of energy and really get going, trying to pour it on. Ford has got to watch what they're doing here. Dragons can put the ball in the net. A nice give and ahead. Kraus with it coming near side. Challenged by Nagri. Looking for turnovers, it is out of play. Should be dragon ball throw in. Whistle blows, nope, they're gonna say falcon ball. And that's a foul call on Tofolo, so throw in, or free kick coming for the Falcons. Time continues to roll, you can see the crowds, the crowd here, this game stands or packed. Football season about to get underway here in Lake Orion. Always exciting time of year. Four home games scheduled for the Dragons this season. They opened at the or open at the Big House in Ann Arbor at uh, U of M Stadium. Falcons trying to run that one down, get a gather, trying to get a shot on tip and deflect it out by Lake Orion. A lot of, a lot of close quarters, uh, close quarters fighting out there for those ball. Ball position and possession, I should say. Chase down by number seven is uh, Dylan Corcus. Lena Loza in the middle of the field. He again his left foot. <laughs> That's what he scored on. Why not use it again? See what happens. But I think that was a pass. But a lack of communication there. Teammate thought he was gonna hang and decided to give it, give it up, and no one uh, broke towards the net. Been they've been a hard one. He's been an off, most likely been off sides. Coming this near side in the corner, battling this Tofolo to chuck it out. Dragon speed is starting to uh, show itself. Tofolo's got wheels. We've seen Billy Kapler, number 17, he's got some wheels. So there you go. Good luck with your speed. 
Cut near side, number 20, called his name a ton of names. That's Salomon uh, Gambon. Ball is still alive, cleared out. Throw in coming for the Falcons. 14.30 left in the first half. Dragons up 2 nothing. We mentioned that uh, the Dragons come in at 2-2. Two and two. two wins against uh, out-of-area teams, Marquette and Petoskey. Eight goals scored in those two games for Lake Orion. Only giving up, uh, what was it? Only giving up two. I think uh, Coach Cortag will take that ratio all day. Can't tell if the subs are making, yep. Calvin Mays, Mao Silva, and J.P. Priscilla check in for Lake Orion. Negri tapped on the toe, trying to get that one in the middle of the field. Battle, battle, battle. Number 12, just off the bench, Silva. So, a well, nice challenge, good hustle out there off the bench, nicely done. Jace Milney checks in for the Falcons. Got a battle going on down there. Trying to clear it out of their end, and they do. Well, near giveaway, and it is a giveaway. But stolen back by number 10, <laughs> Calvin Mays talking to the uh, 20, uh, the sophomore, uh, Gaten. Hey, what are you doing, dude? Don't force it. Out of play, can't keep it in. Dragon throw in by Farmer. Runs up another 10 yards. Surprised they didn't call him on that one. Chip on near side, ball is free. Room to roam, cleared out. Good defense. Good challenge by both uh, players there, but Tofolo showing his strength, getting around the defense. Number 15 goes left foot, centering pass. Ooh, looking for far post in the trailer. Oh, and shot on net 20. Trying to clean that one up. That's Nico Lasso. Does not find the back of the net, but a quality scoring chance for Lake Orion. My goodness. Good sequence there by the Dragon offense. Tell they knew where their uh, players were. Everybody was on the field. Shoulder to the chest. Negri knocks him down. Free kick coming for the Falcons. Danger zone. Solomon Gambone, number 20, doing a nice job out there, putting pressure on that right side. Kraus, number four for the Falcons. We'll have the honor here on the free kick as we approach 11.25 left in this first half. Dragons up 2 nothing. This type of position, you see him usually hit it on net. Decides to go left for the header at distance. A little harder shot on goal, but that's the choices. Challenge that netminder. Get that ball in the box. Get it on frame. Zale has height, but... Uh, Ball can't go in if it's not on frame. And I can see that I saw, you could tell what they were trying to do. Feed it in, get some height, get the header up, and go far post or get a skip off the ground. But sometimes you kick it on frame, maybe you get a deflection, and then you can clean it up. Far side action there, chip on, nicely done on frame. Saved by Zale. As you can see that far post back door uh, tap in was set up nicely. Number 11 for the Falcons. Drew Graves was in position there and on side, ready to go. But uh, smart play by Zale to gather that one in. 10 minutes left in this first half. I want to thank you for tuning into this telecast, first of the season for game of the night, or game of the week, excuse me, and for the Dragons here at home. Dragons trying to set this one up back and forth. 
Farmer challenged over there. He keeps it in. It's tough on that sideline. Tiptoe on that sideline. Still alive. Nicely done. Into the box, but uh, played by the Falcons. Not a lot of substitutions again. We've observed by uh, Utica Ford. Still playing with mostly starters. I think we had a couple subs. Same jersey numbers out there. Same names. Coach Alston uh, sticking with the crew, experienced crew. Again, challenge number 22, Jack for Linden, trying to keep it up. Dragons dump it in again, trying to run it down. Negri trying to head her in, and what do we say? Ooh, looks like it's across that end line, but no, I think it's just out of play. Throw in coming for Lake Orient. Time continues to roll. Farmer with the honors. We've seen that he's he does pretty well over there with those throw-ins. There's a reason why he's on the squad out here in the varsity side. Will Farmer, the sophomore. Sets up. Nicely done. Oh, stolen. And cleared out again. Danger. That was nicely done by Jack for Linden, the junior, to crash, crash in like that out of nowhere. Throw in coming again. I Arker in, tapped, still alive. Dragons get a toe on it and score! Right foot, half volley. Nicely done. Mays, number 10 at 7.52 left in the first half. You can see just drops it in. Ooh, the Falcons were there to head it out. Couldn't get it done. Was that 21? Childers had it. They were in position. The defense was right. Just couldn't get enough mustard to get that ball out as uh, Mays finds the back of the net. Nicely done by the senior. Wearing that captain's badge. Dragons up 3-0 now. Falcons had the right defense. They were there. Just couldn't clear it. And uh, Mays got it and turned. Tapped it right off the bounce off the turf and sent it home. Dragon Faithful have to be happy with this 3 0 lead, but the if you looked at if you took the scoreboard away and the way everything is going back and forth, you wouldn't think the Dragons would be up 3 0, but they've uh, taken advantage of the scoring opportunities that have been given to them. To follow there trying to clear it, and he does. There were there were chances early on for you to forward, but the Dragon defense really kind of packs in deep. Once it hits out it, the 18, and there's nothing really Ford has done to try to get through that. Um, they haven't really tacked on frame except that last offensive possession we saw. This farmer's called for the foul, and got to be careful. Those refs will they'll uh, yellow card you up if you get too animated after a call. Free kick coming here for the Falcons. 6.35 on the clock. Trying to get something going here. Three quality scoring chances. One corner kick. Nice. Ooh, in the box. It bounces, but there's nobody there to clean it up. Tap near side to Silva. He's on the move. And punches it up to number three, JP Priscilli. And they're going to call that offside. <laughs> you can hear Coach. Coach Cortez screaming from across the field. JP, stay on side. Got a little excited. JP is a freshman, the lone freshman on varsity this uh, on this roster. He got super excited, as you can imagine. First varsity action, he's out there and got a little too itchy. Oh, giveaway here. Mays looking for another one. Good defense uh, to dispossess Mays of that uh, offensive rush. Falcons with it. Time continues to roll here in the first half. Stay in, does it? No, it rolls out of play. Throw in for Lake Orion. And I hear the whistle, so substitution number 11 checks in for Lake Orion. That's Ezekiel Vargas. 
Vargas had the first goal on a PK at 27.59. He's also wearing He's also wearing the Captain C armband, the neon band for Lake Orion. Trying to turn on it, number 12, Oleda. She's danger, danger. Uh, clearing the ball in front of your net, Joey uh, Gayton kicks it over there and makes me sweat. Throwing for the Falcons, trying to get something going down there. Good one-on-one -on -one defense for Lake Orion. Falcons still with the ball. Fofana gets it in. Pushing from behind, trying to clear it, get some space, and he taps it, and they're going to say Falcons said it was their ball. Kraus tries to get it. Nope. Yeah, that's an unforced error. Fofana trying to get some space, but he tapped it and rolled out of play. He's supposed to play the ball. Dragons with the trigger. Negri uh, called. Nope. Going to say a foul called on the Falcons. A push. Setting up here at 3.47 to go in the first half. Dragons up 3-0. Scoring recap. Uh, penalty kick was, or PK was called. At 17.59, and Vargas uh, found the back of the net, number 11. Number 14, Belina Loza uh, found the back of the net at 17.36. A, a nice play on the throw-in. And Mays at 7.52. Three nothing. Five, qual er, five quality scoring chances, two corners for Lake Orion, three quality scoring chances, one corner for the Falcons of Utica Ford. Approaching three minutes left here in this first half of play. Nice step around by number 11, Vargas. Mays with it, sends it back to Gaten. Gaten sends it long up that right side and still in play. Falcons looking for space in the middle and they find a little bit room to roam. That's 23. Just cannot get a shot off. Rabislav Spanovsky, number 23, with the effort there for Utica Ford. Farmer trying to clear it out, and he does. Ooh, trying to split that defense and going long again. We saw that strategy earlier, and then chase it down with some speed. A little too long for number 17 with the wheels. Billy Kapler to catch that one. Get a kind of a, a sense of the offensive switch here. If it's not a set piece, the guys are, uh, Lake Orion's going long down the middle and trying to go over, I should say, over the top of the back line defense of Ford and then send some speed after it. Nice chip on in the box. Sent out by Tofana. Tofolo, excuse me. Ninety seconds left in this first half. Dragons up three nothing. Do Falcon the Falcons have any offense tonight to get them back in this game or even this last 120 on the clock to see if they can a goal right now for them would be huge. A swing in momentum. Give them something positive to look at to into going into the half. Chip on, nicely done. Oh, just a little bit too long and strong over the back of the net. Goal kick coming for Lake Orion. Yeah, just trying to find some sort of offense and looking back, it was uh, Ford has only scored one goal all season. Uh, their win against Warren Cousino was a one nothing affair and their loss against Eisenhower was also one nothing. Time continues to roll. Approaching 30 seconds left. Dragons are taking their time. No hurry. Matt Tofolo, number 15. Busy, very active first half for number 15. 
Trying to split that defense in the middle. Dragons pinch in, and they're going to say a trip. Negri goes down in a heap, but a free kick coming here for the green and white. Mays has the honors, but that be it for the first half. Dragons, nice offensive output in this first half of play against the pesky Henry Ford Falcons from Utica. Dragons up 3-0 as we take a break in this first half. Well, the second half kickoff after this short timeout, you're watching Dragon Sports. Stay tuned. As a parent, you know you can't prevent every accident. Add a mouth guard to your child's sports or recreational equipment list to help prevent the impact of a painful and costly facial injury. If your child does sustain a facial injury, seek an evaluation from an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. OMSs are experts in handling injuries to the face, mouth, and jaws. Learn more at myoms.org. Welcome back to the second half of this contest against Lake Orion High School and the Falcons from Utica Ford. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, for Game of the Week in Orion Neighborhood Television, bringing you varsity soccer action here tonight. First game of the 2023 school year uh, for us and for, uh, well, I should say the first home game for the varsity squad here in Lake Orion, but Owen TV's first telecast of this uh, school year. Can't believe summer's over and we're here watching soccer here and we got the <laughs> schedule underway already. Football's around the corner. Four home games for Lake Orion scheduled. Dragons switch sides, uh, looking to extend the three goal lead here against Utica. First uh, half scoring recap, you have penalty kick called and uh, executed by Bargus at 27.59. Number 11 found the back of the net after the PK call. And then we had uh, Belina Loza find the back of the net at 17.36 and Mays at 7.52. We have a penalty kick and then two throw-ins executed um, to score. So it wasn't like a wide open offensive set. Ooh, a dangerous, dangerous takedown from behind is called. Lena Loza called on the harm. And a goal kick coming here for the Falcons. But yeah, three goals in the first half for Lake Orion. Five quality scoring chances, two corners. Three score for Lake Orion, three scoring chances and one corner for Utica Ford. Dragons down that far side, chasing that one down. Good pressure being put on by the Falcons. We saw good pressure all first half long too, but they just could not get the ball on frame in an opportune area to try to even get a solid shot. Um, sometimes it looked like they're looking for the perfect pass or the, the perfect setup. Just dropping it on frame sometimes Yields uh, dividends, right? If you're looking for past games, go, don't forget to head to orionontv.org. That's our website where you can see our video on demand uh, catalog of past games, current games, and as uh, new games come into our lineup, we throw them up there on our VOD. You can also watch uh, our live stream, so you tune in on Comcast Channel 10 here in the Orion area at 7 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays for Game of the Week, where you'll see the most current games in our lineup. And uh, you can watch our live streams on our webpage, but also if you have a Roku device, you can find the ON TV channel. Just search Orion TV, add the channel, and you can watch these games as they are scheduled. So 7 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're not only on Roku, but we're also on Apple TV and Amazon Fire TV. So many options to watch Orion Neighborhood Television. Uh, yeah, we're everywhere. <laughs> Ball's deflected, still in. A little back, backwards English on the ball, kept it in. Farmer sends it down range, and Falcons are trying to do something with it. Trying to set something up. Jersey pulling, no call. Play continues. 
Well, Jico, number nine, nicely done. Gets it over to 11, that's Vargas. Vargas already has one tally on the night. Kind of threaded up that far right side, doing a nice job. Kick it inside, tap in the middle of the box. Farmer clears it out. We've seen Lake Orion kind of lackadaisically clear the ball through the goal, uh, through the um, penalty area, through the 18. Danger zone there for Lake Orion defense, but cleared out. They're going to call over the top. Foul on Lake Orion. Free kick coming here to. Uh, what is it, Billy Kapler looking on going, what did I do? He was standing on his ground. He felt like uh, number 20, uh, Gambone, jumped over top of him. But that's not the call. Goal kick coming here for Lake Orion after the play across the end line. Uh, netminder for the Dragons still number one, Brendan Zale. Free kick here. Be interesting to see how the Falcons uh, respond after the first half. I mean, I don't know what else you could do besides um, don't look for the perfect shot. You know, be a little more uh, test the goalkeeper. Danger. Galena Loza left foots it again out. Uh, a blind pullback. Always a danger spot. Not a big fan of the blind pullback because uh, if you're not eyeing your teammate of who's getting that ball, you can give it away and a solid offensive rush is negated. And, a, and then the foul is called. Right? Falcons want to move quickly, but they had to hold it up until referee was ready, I guess. I don't see any substitutions being made because it's not a throw in. Kraus with it, number four. Been very active out there on defense. Trying to set up that offense, get him in posi position, get things going. Challenge over there. Nicely done. Oh, tough collision. And the guys go down in a heap, and we have an injury. We might have to step away for the injury timeout. As, yeah, he goes down. That's Gaten. We're going to step away. We're back after the injury timeout. Kraus shoots a rocket off a defender and a high arcer in, in the net. Or they say off sides. Oh my word, that was close. Kraus hit a rocket shot. He got the ball back and lobbed it on net. That's what we're talking about. Lob it on net, see what happens. Again, they got called for the off sides, but it's an awkward play for the netminder. It's not straight on. It's not predictable. High arcer, you got now you have these big bright lights up because the sun is going down. It's a lot darker out here than the cameras are letting on. So but they had the chance. They they lobbed it on and made the back of the neck, but called off sides. We'll call it a quality scoring chance. Why not? Fourth quality scoring chance for the Falcons. Trying to set it up. Found a little success. Attack from distance. Point blank range is going to be tough against this Dragon defense. They pack it in pretty tight. Going down on a heap multiple times is Bellina Loza, number 14, flailing around out there. Left foot on net and nice save. Still alive. Didn't gather it in. Dragon's still alive. Coming near side. JP, number nine, dumps it in. Excuse me, that is number nine, Will Jekyll. Danger, danger. We'll call that a scoring opportunity. Dragons on the move. Excuse me, Falcons on the move. And Tofolo does the wise thing and kicks it out of play. For Linden, putting the pressure on in the far side. Sent down range. Dragons trying to get that offense started. Jekyll, 
Number nine coming near side to 17, that's Kapler. Kapler to Pavilion Loza. Pavilion Loza again hits the turf. Regains his composure. Oh, doesn't take the shot. Number 17. Oh, he had opportunity. He wanted to go left foot. Billy Kapler, number 17, decides to go left foot and does not get around on it. His hips weren't squared to the net. Sends that one wide left. I think if, I don't know what kind of right footed shot he is. He obviously favored his left, but I thought he was open for a. Uh, Give the right foot a go and see what happens. Again, Dragons are, what we're finding in front of the defense for the Falcons is there's space for Lake Orion to move around. Dragon defense kind of packs you in and cuts those passing lanes off, so you have to make that perfect pass. Nothing's easy, especially if you're trying to set up that offense. Nothing's easy, always challenged. Falcons found success when they were shooting from distance. Dragons again trying to get something going on the move. Good ball possession here. Smart play, give and go, nicely done. Dragons lose possession, but that's again, it, these guys are nice passing, they, they're in position. Nice shape out there, finding the open man. Falcons on the move, got a little bit of wheels going here. Dragons should clear this one out. Clear it in the middle of the net. Again, we saw this danger. Shot on net, score. We talked about it. Number eight for the Falcons. Gets him on the board. McGill, let's take a look, see? And again, as the upperclassman makes a, a silly mistake, Farmer can't get it. And the angle's wrong. And um, Tofola's had a really nice game until that point, and that's a complete error, you know. But credit to the Falcons for cleaning that up and finishing. But you gave them that goal, three to one. It's a 29-46. McGill nicely done to clean that one up, number eight. Let's see what we got on McGill. Senior, Jacob McGill tallies one. Again, that was an unforced error in second, third. Maybe this is the fourth time we've seen the Dragons clear the ball through the goal, or through the uh, penalty area, penalty box. And that's just danger waiting to happen, and the pass was off and got into McGill's foot and he sent it home. Now you give the Falcons life here plenty of time to, uh, inside 30 minutes left of uh, in the second half and they have life. Encourage all of you to come down here to Dragon Stadium and catch a game in person. The cheerlead student athletes on in person. Head on over to the concession stand, grab a cool drink and a tasty hot dog or your favorite uh, sweets. All proceeds help the uh, Dragon Marching Band program. One of the best in the state of Michigan. Sun is starting to go down here. The stadium lights are on. Have to see how that impacts the game. Usually it doesn't, but Sometimes that transition from daylight to uh, the artificial light, especially if the ball is hot, played high in the air, could play uh, tricks on the goalkeeper and the defense. Falcons moving forward, still putting pressure on. No quit in these Falcons. I like this squad a lot. It's hard to believe they only had a, that's only the second goal of the season that they've sco scored in competition. High, Archer way high on the box, bounces. And off the end line, so corner kick coming. Are we seeing a new trend, attack from distance? Is that really happening? Corner kick, second one of the night for the Falcons. Yeah, we saw it from distance, that was Kraus going 
Far side trying to head it again. Can't find the frame, and it's out of play. Goal kick coming for Lake Orion. 27-10 left in the second period of play. Falcons got on the board, 29-46 in the second. Still life left in these fighting Falcons. Coach Alston doing a nice job with this Utica Ford squad. If I can dig up some information on these guys from a year ago, let's see how they did it last year. Still fighting out there. Ford, the Falcons over there on the far side, still with it. Two Dragons in pursuit and knocked out of play. Let's see, just a season ago, the varsity men's squad was had nine wins, 11 losses, and four ties. Lake Orion did not play these guys a year ago. Hi, Arker in. Oh, my goodness. How did that go in? What did we see? 26-09 the goal. Falcons are in this contest. High lob misplayed by Zale. He jumped in the air. That you I'm trying to see who scored that. Was that number four? That's <laughs> Kraus. Wow. Kraus scores that one. Wow, now we have a ball game. Three to two. Dragon sleepwalking on defense, but we saw this two instances, high arcing balls into the goal area. One was called off sides. The next one went in the net. And we saw Zale jump in the air. He's got plenty of height. He's a tall kid. Put his arms up. He jumped in the air. You, it tells you that he misjudged that ball because he missed the timing. He came down uh, too early, so he's flat-footed as the ball was still coming down, and it squirted through his hands in the net. Two goals by the Falcons on uh, just mental errors by Lake Orion, but they took advantage. Still challenging are the Falcons. Boy, do they want to get the equalizer. Who's at number 10? That's uh, Gabala again. Thought he had a bum ankle, but no, he's looking Fit as usual out there with his speed. And there's a corner kick off of Lake Orion. Oh, my. Second half, tail of two halves in this soccer match. Dragons up 3 nothing. Saw that 3-0, 3 nothing lead evaporate quickly in under three minutes. Corner coming for the Falcons. Here it comes. Far post. Dragons are there first. Deflected out in front of the 18. And I think that's Mays was dropped to the turf. So free kick coming for Lake Orion. My word, what a turn of events. Woof. Still 24 plus, 24 minutes, 25, 24 seconds left in this second half. Anything, can, anybody's game at this point. My goodness. Let's see some common opponents from last year. Clarkston, uh, Oxford. Yeah, Utica had a hard time scoring goals last year. Utica forward, oh, nice shot on frame is Mays looking for number two. Or Vargas, excuse me. Couldn't get it on frame. Seventh quality scoring chance for Lake Orion. Ford has crept up to uh, six score quality scoring chances now with two goals. Mm. Yeah, last, uh, the, tw the previous season, the 22-23 school year, Utica Ford, um, in their wins, they were only scoring one or two goals a game. Royal Locust scored four, gave up four, gave up four, gave up for, yeah, so they don't do a whole lot of scoring on this squad, at least from a year ago. And right now they've got, uh, that is their third goal this season. Two in this game. 
Farmer number four milking the clock a little bit, taking his time to throw that ball in. Big Will Farmer launches it in. It's in the box. Can he turn on it? Trying to. Cannot do it and clear it out. Still alive outside that 18. Vargas trying to do a chip on. No good. I'm going to say a foul on Lake Orion. That's a late call. That's an odd one. Tap Rube play is on. Just when you think you know what's happening in the ball game, uh-oh. No more mental errors. And this is a shutout if Dragons j don't lose their focus. It's like they had a big lead and decided, yep, we're coasting here. And But the Falcons, like we said, they can get it done. It's just a matter of taking advantage of what's given to them, and they've done it twice here in the second half. <laughs> Coach Cortex has got to be steaming. Oh, boy. He, he, uh, and believe me, you're going to hear him from the sidelines. If he doesn't like what you're doing, he is a vocal, hands-on guy giving the instruction there. You see him, arms crossed, <laughs> looking at the crew, going, come on, guys, what are you doing? Keep it together. First home game of the season, you don't want a three-goal, three-nothing lead evaporate into a, heaven forbid, a loss. But... Got to give it to the Falcons fighting back. We have a ball game here. Do we have an instant classic here for our first game of the 23 uh, school year? First game, uh, home game of the season. Our first game of the season here at ON TV. Game of the week. A nice high one, high one in. Punched over the crossbar, though, this time by Zale. We saw it. Kraus is doing this is a. This is a planned attack on this Dragon defense. Attack from distance, use Krause's leg, which he can send it a country mile, and he's very accurate with it. They've had him kicking all this time. Referee steps in to make sure everybody's in the right spot, not touching each other on this corner kick. Fourth of the night for the Falcons. He does short. Oh, trying to tip it in. Oh, and a whiff. They had a chance. They had a chance, but this is a this is a, a stra strategy of attack here to go long on these dragons, and it nearly worked again. This time, uh, Zale punched it over that crossbar. Another quality scoring chance for the Falcons. They are tied. We are even at seven quality scoring chances here for both squads. Corner kicks are now in favor of Utica Ford, two for Lake Orion, four for the Falcons. Inside 20 minutes, play continues, ball given away, Falcons on the move. You definitely feel the momentum shift here at Dragon Stadium. Still moving, slicing and dicing through that defense, one too many dribbles. And he's dispossessed. Are they going to say push off hand on the defender is Kraus. So the foul is called. Free kick coming here for Lake Orion. Say number 15 with the honors, most likely. Time continues to roll, approaching 19 minutes left. 3 2 game here at Lake Orion High School. Dragons taking their time. As Mantafolo, or. Follow gets set up with his uh, left foot rocket. He's done a nice job too. Nice drop in the box, easily handled. Different strategy. The uh, Falcons were hitting it a lot higher. The trajectory of that ball is much higher using the lights, I'm assuming. But yeah. Three two game here. We thought it was going to be a route. Nope. Nope. Luke Wilson, number 21, checks in for Lake Orion. And it will be Dragon Ball. Trying to get something going here. Number 20, fresh legs, Nico Lasso, the junior. Farmer trying to clear it. Nice. 
Nice uh, passing attack by Lake Ory. Nicely done. Two-man game here trying to turn on. That's just too tough. Number 20, Lasso. Uh, Nico Lasso trying to do a little bit too much there. Ball is rolling free in the box. With some momentum, here we go. Good defense looking for an interference call, not gonna get it. Nice job by Mays, slow it down, collision midfield. Play continues, end in action, holy moly. Crowds calling for fouls on both sides. <laughs> Number 11, foot 11, nicely done by Farmer to deflect it out. We have a ball game here. You can feel the intensity rising by the second as we approach 17 minutes. Nice pressure by number 11, Drew Graves. That was across the end line. Corner kick, number five for the Falcons. Coming shortly. Mm. Everybody getting set up, looking to go long. Defenders are near side and far side. Post going back door. Deflected out by the Dragon defense. Comes screaming in, almost had it. Good position in there. Oh, tough. Tough one. Injury timeout here at 16.28. Looks like he twisted, oh he cramped up. Came, he kicked the ball, came back at him 100 miles an hour and he cramped up a little bit, hit him in the calf. So whoo, give us a little chance to get a little breather here. 3-2 game, let's do a scoring recap, uh, penalty kick. Issued at 27.59, Vargas finds the back of the net for Lake Orion to get them on the board first. And then we had number 14, Bolina Loza at 17.36, finds the back of the net after a nice uh, side two-end throw-in by Farmer. And at 7.52, Mays finds the back of the net to give it a 3-0 lead in the first half. And then... The Falcons take over in the second half. At 29-46, McGill finds the back of the net on the uh, errant pass through the goal mouth and finds the back of the net, gives them their first goal of the night. And then the game got interesting at 26-09 of the second. Kraus from long range finds the back of the net and to put this game at 3-2. I think that is Gambone. Yep, number 20. He's had a really nice game. Um, Solomon Gambone, the junior, number 20. He uh, just got a cramp there after uh, getting rocked by his <laughs> entry pass, and that hurts. That really does hurt. So pausing here at 1625, clock will get started momentarily once he put the ball in play. Still trying to give him a little bit of time to uh, collect himself to get him back in the game. Waiting for the game to get underway. Finally, the Falcons get somebody the trigger from the side. And that is Fafana. Bounce pass in. Chip on, cross the end line. That should be a goal kick. Goal kick coming. Falcons step in front of that one. Crowd getting a little excited out here, a little anxious. Can they uh, equalize this at three? Everything changes if you can get the equalizer. Falcons are playing hard, still fresh legs out there. Um, haven't seen much of the bench. Looking at the numbers, there's Kraus number four, great game for him. Got the second goal of the night here for the Falcons. Farmer doing a nice job, finds an opening. Vargas trying to do something with it. Again, long range dump in. I, that, I think they're just willing to dump it in and see what happens. Oh, near steal. They're going to call push on number two. That's Logan Hawks, the senior. Nice pesky run by Nico Lasso to earn that. And it should be a Lake Orion free kick here. Of course, number 15 steps up to do the honors. Everybody is on the left side 
of the net. Is he going to creep it in, chip it on? What's he going to do? A little too strong and trying to bend it in the upper 90 on that left side. A little too much mustard on that. If anything, they left the front uh, near side 90 open. Kick it on frame, see what happens. Inside 13 minutes left in this contest. Dragons up 3-2. Spirited effort by the Falcons in this second half. Still alive here in the box. Gathered in nicely by, by the Falcons. 12.30 left in this game. Seeing the Dragons trying to attack. Good defense by the Falcons. Slowing them down. Throw in here for the team in white who, who came to play. Pollock, number five, checks in for Utica Ford. Dragons on the coming near side, finding the open man. Trying to find something in the middle and no one crashing the net. Too delayed to come in there. Who is that? Vargas had it. Farmer not going to push him off the ball. He just loses his footing there. Turns on it. In the clear, just outside the box, he goes down. Fans for four claim, <laughs> screaming for a call. Not going to get it as we approach 11 minutes. Looking for a call just outside the box. That would have been ooh, a huge danger. Uh, watching the ball, attack that ball, Nico. Throw in here for the Falcons. A little arguing over there. Is it green and white or is it Lake Orion? It is the Falcons on the throw-in. Hawks number two decides to go backwards. Less congestion going deep with it. Coming back. Dragons at midfield. Mays just trying to tap it through. No one there. I'm not sure where he's going with that ball. Dragons organization the last three minutes has been a bit off. And I think we have another injury timeout. 10 13 to go. After the timeout, Dragons kick it down range. Inside 10 minutes to go here as play gets underway after the injury. Ball's rolling free. Leave it for the netminder to come and grab it, and he does it. Brendan Zale. Time continues to roll. The Dragons are taking their time. Falcons looking for something. They're going to have to start pressing here pretty soon. Probably about the five minute mark. Play your offense. They'll do anything different. Try to earn a, 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 a free kick. Outside the 18 or something. We saw that uh, attack from distance uh, strategy work perfectly here in the second half. Substitutions coming in. Dragons getting a breather, trying to get some uh, fresh legs out there. Getting the personnel that they need out there. Farmer triggering from the side. He's done a nice job. Really can get it down, down range. Chip on, keeping it low. Trying to turn on is Bargus. Tough competitor is Bargus. Nice little move there by uh, Lasso. Gives it up. Bargus can't do anything with it. Out of play. Dragon throwing. Time continues to roll. They can take their time here. Milk that clock. 
But don't lose sight of why you're here. Farmer's going to have the honors. We've seen him move from side to side with the throw-ins. Designated throw-in guy. Nice long throw-in. Oh, oh, tough, just across and just a bit wide. Danger, danger, as they say. Eighth quality scoring chance for Lake Orion. Tried to get it on frame, couldn't. But that was a nice effort by Lasso. Nico Lasso, number 20 off the bench, did a nice job there on that sequence. Kraus gives it up to number 10, that's Gabala. Speed, good defense there. By number 22, Jack Verlinden. And Tofolo out, out of play. Tofolo looking down, talking, you gotta watch out. They could give you a yellow for that, if not a red. Got to watch out. Maybe he was asking him, hope, he, hope he's okay, not hurt. Time continues to roll inside seven minutes. This is kind of the nitty gritty time. Calvin Mays, a lot of substitutions at this time, working the clock. Mays already has a goal on the night at 7.52 of the first. Third goal for Lake Orion tonight. Kapler trying to run that one down. Taken down from behind. No call, play continues. Cleared out by Bargus. Then you have a whistle. Seems a bit late, but they're gonna call it, so here we go. Time continues to roll. Okay, here we are. Can Kraus get it high? Archer on frame. He's waiting for everybody to back up. That's what they're doing. Offense is packing in the box. Here he goes. High Archer, long distance, and it's alive in the box. It was there, and trying to clean up his number 20 off his cramp. A nice effort by Gambone, and Dragons cover it up, but again, we see it went from distance. They got that foul, they got that free kick, got that quality scoring chance. Just couldn't find the back of the net. Inside 530. You can hear the coaches on both benches screaming out orders to the troops. Keep your focus, get it in there. Kabbalah, nicely done. Just a pesky number 10, loses it off his foot out of play. You can see he's frustrated. Had a good run going and just tapped off his foot by the Dragon defense. So it'll be a throw in here for Lake Orion. That's the frustrating bit about soccer. You have it clear. You're making a great run and just one little taparoo and it's out of play. And you lose possession. So here we go. Interesting area here. Cleared out by Lake Orion. They'll be content to do this. Push from behind. Tofolo keeps his hands in the air. Another foul. Is it? Corner kick, key, key, key kick right here at 14-10 roughly left in this contest. Falcons down. Three to two, corner kick coming, seventh of the night. Oh, free kick coming from outside, coming to that far post. Ball is alive in the box and it trickles through out of play. I think it's off Lake Orion. Nope, it's off Utica Ford. So the throw in here for Lake Orion and Farmer with the honors. That was an interesting, that was a free kick on the foul opportunity. Cortega scream, screaming, get on near post and far post. Opportunity uh, lost there by the Falcons. They had it set up for them nicely. Clock continues to run inside 330. 
Dragons up 3-2 to two on the Falcons. They led 3-0 at one point. Falcons come storming back here in the second half. Two goals in under three minutes. First goal at 29-46, the second one at 26-09. And they've had other chances. One of them was called back because it was offsides. Kept with it, inside three minutes. Vargas, number 11, has a nice game. One goal tonight for the uh, Dragons. See, they're just really hustling out there, putting pressure on the ball, making the uh, Utica see. Good speed to the ball, making the opponent have to make that decision which way they're going. And you can see that uh, made the wrong one or turned the wrong way out of play. Throw in for Lake Orion. Farmer, long throw in. We've seen it all night long. Just throw it. Throw it down range. Get there, get there, get there. Coming back, miss hit. Tough, tough sledding there for the Falcons. Number 11, Drew Graves. Solid night all around. That's a rough one to go with. Approaching two minutes left in this game. They're gonna have to do something. Oh, near deflection outside, out front. Dragons try to turn on it. They have somebody open in the far side. Can't get the right. Right foot on it, that was very good. I think that was um, Fofana on the defense. Out of play, Dragons with the throw in. They're moving quickly now. Approaching 90 seconds left in this game. <laughs> Excuse me, got a little sneeze. Um, inside. Well, 125 to go. Falcons trying to do something. Dragons with the ball. They'll just keep possession. Delay it. Oh, nice inside move. Good defense by number 17. Miss hit there by still alive. Billy Kampler and Lasso doing a nice job of keeping the ball deep in the uh, in the Falcon end. About one minute to go. This is the last rush, maybe. Deflected out, can they get a foul in here? Can they get that free kick from distance? Can they get it in the box? Let's see. Number seven chasing it down, this should do it. Dragons covered up, they're gonna take their time. Nice hustle by number seven, Dylan uh, Corcus. I think it's the first time I've said his name tonight. 30 seconds, 35 seconds to go. Dragons will milk this clock. Dragons with the throw in, this should do it. What a hard fought matchup between these two clubs. Three nothing uh, lead chipped away in the second by the Falcons and um, just an entertaining game all around. I know the Falcon faithful will go home a little upset about this outcome, but my goodness, what a contest and the future's bright for this squad for 2023 as we close out this game, Dragons. Didn't get a shot off. Dragons get the W on the first home game of the season. Good one here on Game of the Week on Orient Area Television. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Thank you for tuning into this telecast. We'll have more, plenty more as the season rolls along. We're trying to get at least four or five soccer matches for you guys to watch. But that caps it here for us tonight. Three to two. Dragons win on goals from Vargas. Alina Loza and Mays. Dragons look ahead to uh, more exciting matches. One I'm looking forward to seeing the results of is Stony Creek. That's it for tonight. We'll see you next time. Good night, everybody.